What's up with it, man? It's your boy, Bicky the Cry Baby. You already know you're rocking with DD Films here. We're giving you the exclusive interview, man. Y'all tapping. It's Bicky the Cry Baby, you know. Um, and where that name come from, I caught a jokes at the age of like 17. I caught 10 years, you know, for on robbery. Mm -hmm. But like doing that, um, and I went to jail, you know, it's Bicky, you know, so that's why. I, Cry Baby got implemented on it because um, I fell in love, you know, with boxing, you know what I'm saying, while I was in jail. And and being in prison, you know what I'm saying, like going to prison, you know, first I was into a lot of the like negative stuff, like, you know, running the streets, you know what I'm saying, and you know what I'm saying, right. guns, violence, fighting schools and stuff like that, but, you know what I'm saying, going to jail, turning the negative into a positive, you know what I mean, like, that's how that name come about, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, finding boxing. And like becoming a crybaby of like, you know, getting what I wanted out of the sport. Like, you know, I was the top dog, you know, like this, this what it is, this what it's gonna be. You know what I'm saying? You always right. gotta have your yeah. way. So like, yeah, I, I do my shit. Yeah, running in the gym, like running the whole, DLC like so it was like you know like he doing shit like you know yeah so they, like going to jail I was autistic so like going to prison and like you know having so much negative energy and stuff like that but I always had a pot I, I always had a positive side you know what I'm saying yeah. to where it's like you know what I'm saying I know I could do better I wanted to do better mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying so going to jail and having all that energy like you know what I'm saying you surrounded by nothing but negativity. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like right. fights, night fights, just so much. So trying to find that space, you know what I'm saying? When you're not nothing, nobody, nothing here, you know. Mm -hmm. Find that space, that peace of mind, that, you know, that positivity in this full it's negative right. environment. Right. How do you like that? Like that? Right. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know. And you know, I got, it's the proof in the pudding. You can ask some kids that I really like. Yeah, Training and show it to us, you know. So sometimes I mean kids that can't really go through that circumstance to become okay, like that wasn't a kid when I did. Yeah. You know what I'm I really wasn't a kid. Kick my jacket Like man, I'm about to like you know a lot of people run around beat on their chest through the music all day and I was like Why? I was like, man, I could do that shit. Yeah. I was like, man, I was like I need a I need a career in here. I need to stick out. Like, everybody beauty chest and ring music. Everybody got a song around. You want to shit. be on you want to be yeah. a, a, a just a totally and different. original to yourself. Totally different. So I was like, you know what? Uh, only guy, the biggest name in the prison at the time, Babyface, you know what I'm saying? And he, he had all the girls, he had all the, he had everything. He, he, he was the man. <laughs> he was the man. <laughs> so I'm like, man, I'm like, man. <laughs> it was a nigga face. Like, you know, we used to play against right. them with basketball and stuff. Because I was in a Wild P program, like a youth offender program. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, uh, they kept us away from the population for a little bit, you know what I'm saying, while I was being minors. Okay. So I would see Babyface and hear his name doing his stuff, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I gotta get like this nigga. This nigga just, <laughs> he's true. You know wow, what I'm saying? He, right. So fighting and stuff, being to negative stuff like that, you know, the warden was like, yeah, I'm gonna show your ass one day, you know, you don't box. I'm scared of boxing. You know what I'm saying? Nothing, man. I'm out of the city. Right. You ain't talking about nothing. Hey, bring me down there. Right, you put your money in your mouth. Hey. So man, they bring us down one day. And man, this nigga face punched me everywhere under my feet. I said, man, I got to learn this shit. <laughs> I said, I got to learn this shit. Yeah, man. That's oh no, but after that, I got a partner named Moon to where he was like, man, we about to, we really about to, you know, get into this. My partner Moon was like, man, you know, you want box. You know, man was cutting hair at the time, so he was like, man, you want box? Like, take it serious. You know, I'm gonna be going home with so some, take it serious. So. He showed me the ropes, but he was trying to like beat up on me and stuff like that. So I just <laughs> surpassed him. So the uh, second time when I really met Babyface, he had went home. But when I met him, he came back to prison. He was like, bro, like, I was him. <laughs> Who he right. left, I was there. <laughs> all the belts and stuff he had, I had it there. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Everything else, it was all like, it was all right there. You know what I'm saying? A lot of guys in prison like go to go to prison and um, you know they they do some productive things with their time. Right. I stuck to. Now, you know, like, like me on the loop, we didn't want talent shows and everything up there. Wow. So it was a way that I still express myself through the music by doing that shit. But that main thing was that, that boxing. Right, the boxing, you know what I'm saying? I could even let like, pain out. The anger. I always wanted to do music, so I wrote music, one talent show, you know what I'm saying? And box, that's how I express myself in prison, you know what I'm saying? All the energy, all the right. pain that I had inside, 
I let it out through the music and through boxing. You know, if you're really good, you'd be a champion. I gotta be a champion. So I started training with these wow. ideas in my head. That's, so that's what I call living life on purpose. Not just waking up. You say, what the fuck are you gonna do today? That's, that's, that's the way you're losing. Right here, man. As you can see, you know, it's a back stitch right here. Suicide, suicide, just say I'm suicide.